Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you all are doing fine. Welcome to class four. Today, in maths, we are going to start the first unit, that is place value. So, as you all know, that in class three we have learned three and four digit numbers. So, in class four we are going to learn five and six digit numbers. So, before moving on to the lesson, let us first watch a video. In the previous classes, we have learned about numbers up to four digits. Let us see what you know about numbers. The smallest two-digit number is ten, and the greatest two-digit number is ninety-nine. We read nine-nine as ninety-nine. When we add one to ninety-nine, we get one hundred, which is the smallest three-digit number. It is read as one hundred. The greatest three-digit number is nine nine nine, which is read as nine hundred ninety-nine. When we add one to nine hundred and ninety-nine, we get one zero zero zero, which is the smallest four-digit number. It is read as one thousand. Numbers go on increasing in this way, and we come to the greatest four-digit number, nine 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 nine. It is read as nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Do you know what happens when we add one? To nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Simple. We get one zero 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 zero, which is the small zero, which is the smallest five-digit number. We read it as ten thousand. Here, the digit one is at the ten thousands place. Some. We have seen that the smallest one-digit number is one, whereas the greatest one-digit number is nine. So when we add one to the greatest one-digit number, we get the smallest two-digit number. That is nine plus one will be ten. Likewise, if we add one to the greatest two-digit number, that is ninety-nine plus one will be Hundred. That is, we get the smallest three-digit number. So likewise, we get a pattern. So, if uh, nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine is the greatest four-digit number, when we add one to the greatest four-digit number, we get the smallest five-digit number. Now, let us learn about five-digit numbers. So let us represent five digit numbers in a place value chart. So in a place value chart numbers are divided into periods and periods are separated by commas. So in a five digit number the number the first digit will be at the 10000th place. Let us see this place value chart. Now Here we have two periods. That one is the ones period, and the second is the thousands period. In the ones period, we have three places: the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. Whereas in thousands period, we have the thousands place and the ten thousands place. So two, the digit two is in the ones place. Three is in the tens place. Seven in the hundreds place, five in the thousands place, and six in the ten thousands place. So this is a five-digit number. So where do we have to put the comma? We have to put the comma where we have the the at the separation of the two periods. Here, see, sixty-five comma 
seven three two. So how do we read this? Sixty five thousand. Why sixty five thousand? Because it is in the thousands period. It is yes, sixty five thousand seven hundred thirty two. Clear? Now let us hear to a song. Now let us learn about six digit numbers. A six digit number begins with the one lakh place. What does that mean? That means that suppose let us take a place value chart. Let us write a six digit number here. So the first one will be the ones period, then the thousands period and then the lakhs period. How many periods are there here? Three periods. Ones, thousands and lakhs period. In the ones period we have already learned three places will be there ones, tens and hundreds. Whereas in the thousands period, thousands place and ten thousands place. Now after that if we have one more digit that is we have a six digit number we will write it in the lakhs period. In the lakhs period we have one place that is the lakhs place. Now we have already learned that at the separation of the periods we put a comma. Now look here 9 comma why are we putting a comma here because it is the thousands period and this is the lakhs period so in between the two periods we put a comma then 11 comma 402 again why we are putting a comma here because this is 402 is in the ones period and 11 is in the thousands period so how do we read this number we read this number as 9 lakh why 9 lakh because 9 is in the lakhs place 9 lakh 11,402 let me repeat 9 lakh 11,402. Now, the next thing that we are going to learn is writing numbers using the spike abacus. All of us know what is a spike abacus. Now, let us learn how to write numbers. Let us take the first abacus. Here, in the ones place, we can see that we have 7 balls. So, we are writing 7 here. Next, we have the tens place. In the tens place, we have two balls. So, we'll write two. In the hundreds place, we have six balls. So, we'll write six. In the thousands place, three balls. So, three. Then, in the ten thousands place, we have four balls. So, we'll write the number here. Do not forget to put a comma here. What does the comma indicate? So the comma here indicates that the 43 is in the thousands period whereas 6, 2, 7 these numbers are in the ones period. So how do we read this number? 43,627. Right? Let us take the next abacus. In this abacus you can see that we have places till lakh. That means it is a 6 digit number. Right? Now. How many balls are there in the ones place? 
five balls are there. You can count them. So we are writing here five. Next, in the tens place we have six balls. So we'll write here six. In the hundreds place we have three balls. So we'll write here three. In the thousands we have seven. So we'll write here seven. In the ten thousands place we have three balls. So we'll write here three. And in the lakhs place four balls. So we'll be writing here four. You should not forget to put commas. Where to put commas? After the hundreds place. That means ones, tens, hundred. After the hundreds because the thousands period is starting here. Next, here one more comma will come because after this the lakhs place will start. So how do we read this number? Four lakh thirty-seven thousand three hundred and sixty-five. Right. Next, next we will be learning how to write a numbers, a five digit and six digit numbers in words and in the expanded form. Let us learn. So let us first take this number 17,899. So 17 is in which place? 1 is in the 10,000's place and 7 is in the 1000's place. So how do we read it together? 17,800. Why 800? Because 8 is in which place? 100's place. 899. See here. 17,899. Right? Next, let us do the word form for this number. Now, in this number, we can see that we have 10 in the thousands period. So how do we read it? 10,001. Why 10,001? Because hundreds place it is a zero. Tens place also it is a zero. Zero, zero. So we need not read that. So we'll only read one. 10,001. Next, if we take the next one, you can see what is there in the thousands period? 20. We read the numbers together. 20. So 20,030. Why 30? Because 3, 0, 30. Like this we read. In the hundreds place it is a 0. So we need not read this 0. 20,030. Right? Take the next number. Now this is a 6 digit number. Yes? How do we read the 6 digit number? 2 is in which place? In the lakhs place. Very good. What is in the thousands? Ten thousands and thousands place sixty. Yes? Sixty. So two lakh sixty thousand five hundred. Why five is in the hundreds place? Sixty seven. Two lakh sixty thousand five hundred sixty seven. Look at the word form here. Now take the next number. One is in which place? Lakhs place again. What is in the thousands period? 33. Yes. Next. Hundreds place and tens place is 0, 0. Last. What is in the ones place? 4. So how do we read? 1 lakh 33,004. Yes. 1 lakh 33,004. You can see here. Next. Number. What is in the lakhs place? 9. Then thousands period, nothing is there in the ten thousands place. Only 5 is there. Yes? Next, 2 in the hundreds place, 1 in the tens place and again 2 in the ones place. So how do we read this? 9 lakh 5,212. Yes? Now let us see how to write the expanded form for all these numbers. Yes, let us take the first number. So, e an easier way to write an expanded form is, now take the first number. Now, what is the first digit in here? 1. So, we write 1 here. Now, after that, after 1, how many zeros are, how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. So, we will put 4 zeros. Next, plus. After plus, take the next digit, 7. After 7, how many numbers are there? 
How many digits are there? Three digits. So three zeros. Seven thousand. Then again a plus. After that, which digit is there? Eight. After eight, how many digits? Two digits. So two zeros. Plus next digit is nine. After nine, one digit is there. So we'll put one zero. Plus the last nine. Yes, this is the expanded form for this number. Next, let us take this number. First digit is one. After this, how many digits are there? One, two, three, four digits are there. So we'll put four zeros here. See, ten thousand plus. Now the next digit here it is a zero. So we'll just write zero. We need not write zero zero zero. It's not important. We can just write zero plus zero plus zero. Now the last digit is one. Clear? How we got this expanded form? Next. The first digit in this number is two. We'll write a two here. Now, how many zeros to add after two? How many digits are here? One, two, three, four digits. So four zeros. Yes. After that, plus zero because it is a zero. Then plus zero, plus thirty. Why thirty? Because after three, how many zeros are there? One. Then plus zero. Next, again, take this number. Take the first digit two. How many digits after two? One, two, three, four, five digits. So how many zeros we'll add? One, two, three, four, five zeros. Plus, take the next digit six. After six, how many zeros we have to add? How many digits are there? Those many zeros we have to add. One, two, three, four. So four digits. So four zeros. Plus, again one more zero. This zero. Then again five. After five, how many zeros to add? One, two, two zeros to add. Plus sixteen, plus seven. Likewise, same as that, we have to write the expanded form for these two also. Next, let us learn about the place value and face value of a digit in a number. Now, what is face value? Let us learn that first. The face value of a number represents the same number. Example: the value of four in forty-nine thousand eight hundred and fifty-one. This is the number. So, in this number, the face value of four is four. Likewise, the face value of nine will be nine. Face value of eight will be eight. It will be the same number. Right now, what is place value? Place value is obtained by multiplying the face value by the place. That means, how do we write the place value? Suppose we have this number six lakh thirty nine thousand one hundred and seventy two. Now, if we want to find the place value of six here, so we multiply six by One lakh, because in which place is six? Six is in the lakhs place. So six into one lakh will be six lakh. So this is the place value of six. Next, let us take in some examples and let us learn how to find the face value and place value. Now let us take this first number, twenty-three thousand three hundred and forty-one. So we have already learned that the face value will be the same. The face value of two here we have to find. What is the face value of two? Two itself. Now what is the place value of two? We can just simply find the place value by adding how many zeros we have after the digit. For example, we have two here, so we'll be writing two here. Now how many digits are there after two? One. Two, three, four. So we'll be adding four zeros. We can write the place value directly like this. Now let us find the face value and place value of seven in this number. Now the face value will be the same, seven itself. Now what is the place value? We write seven here. See, we have written seven. Now how many zeros to add? How many digits are there here after seven? Two, two digits. So 
two zeros. So seven hundred is the place value. Likewise, next number. What is the place value and face value of nine here? This nine. So the face value will be same nine. Whereas the place value, we have to count how many digits are there after nine. One, two, three, four, five. So we have to add five zeros after nine. Nine we have to write as it is. After that, five zeros. Next. Let us find the face value and place value of eight here. Now, face value will be same eight. What about the place value? We have to write those many zeros. How many digits are there after the number? After this eight, how many digits are there? Seven. Only one digit. So, one zero. Now, what about this one? The face value and place value both will be one here. Because there are no digits after one, so we will not be adding any zeros here. Next, next we will learn how to count in tens and hundreds. Let us first see this tens. Now, suppose if we have a number six thousand five hundred and thirty. So, what is in the tens place? In the tens place, we have three. So how to count? How to get the next number? Add ten to get the next number. What are we doing here? We are counting in tens. So if we add ten to this number, we will get six thousand five hundred and forty. Likewise, if we add again ten here, we'll get six thousand five hundred and fifty. We are only changing the uh, number in the tens place. Yes? Are you observing? Three. Four, five, six, seven. See here, the red colored digits. Why? Because we are counting in tens, so we will only be changing the number in the tens place. Let us take the next example. Seventeen thousand eight hundred and ten. Yes. So what is there in the tens place? One. So if we count in tens, we have to change which digit? This digit we have to change. So next number after one, what will come? Two. Next, seventeen thousand eight hundred and twenty. Again, seventeen thousand eight hundred and thirty. We are only changing this red colored digit. Why? Because it is in the tens place. Yes, this is how you count in tens. If you want to count in hundreds, you have to change the number in the hundreds place. Let us see this. Four thousand two hundred and ninety-one. Now, which number is there in the hundreds place? Two, so either you can add hundred to get the next number. You can do the addition on the side, or you can just change the number in this place. Now after two, what will come? Three. So four thousand three hundred and ninety-one. After three will come four. Four thousand four hundred and ninety-one. Likewise, four thousand five hundred and ninety-one. Four thousand six hundred and ninety-one. Right. Let us take the next example, thirty-nine thousand eight hundred and sixty-five. Now, if we add hundred here, what are we going to get? The next number, that is, this number, this digit will change. Eight will become nine here, thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and sixty-five. Now, if we cha change, if we want to change this digit, how will we change it again after nine? We'll add hundred. If we add hundred here, what what number we'll get next? Forty thousand sixty-five. Yes. Now again, change this digit. Forty thousand one hundred and sixty-five. Again, add hundred. Now let us learn how to count in thousands. To count in thousands, we have to add thousand to get the next number. Let us take the first example: six thousand three hundred and eighty-five. What is there in the thousands place? Six, right? Now we can just change the digit in the thousands place, or we can add thousand. Yes. So after six, seven will come. So seven thousand three hundred and eighty-five. Next, eight thousand three hundred and eighty-five. Likewise, you can just see that we are changing the number in the thousands place. After nine, ten thousand three hundred and eighty-five. Next example, if we take, we have the 
82,575. In this number, what is there in the thousands place? 2. So, we will just change the number in the thousands place. After 2, 3 will come. 83,575. After 3, 4. 84,575. 85,575. Then 86,575. Yes, this is how you count in thousands. How to count in ten thousands? We just have to add ten thousand to get the next number. Let us see. Twenty-one thousand eight hundred and forty-two. What is there in the ten thousands place? Two. So we'll just change this number. After two, three. So thirty-one thousand eight hundred and forty-two. 41,842. We are just changing the digits with the red color. Next, 51,842. Yes, this is how you write in count in 10,000s. Next, how to count in lakhs? Just change the number in the lakhs place. 1,53,008. Now, what is there in the lakhs place? 1. So, we are just changing this digit. After 1, 2. Then 3 then 4, then 5. Likewise, the rest of the number will remain the same. Yes? Next. Next, let us learn about predecessor and successor. So, what is predecessor? The meaning of predecessor is a number that comes before a particular number. For example, if we take this number, 38,143. So, what is the predecessor of this number? We have to subtract 1 to get the predecessor. So, if we subtract 1 from this, what are we going to get? 38,142. So, which number comes before this? This one. So, this is called the predecessor. What, what is this number called? Predecessor. Likewise, successor is the opposite of predecessor. Successor means a number which comes after another number. For example, if we have this number 1,99,999. So, how do we find the successor? By adding 1. So, if we add 1 to this number, we will get 2 lakh. So, what is the successor here? Successor is 2 lakh. That means 2 lakh comes after 1 lakh 99,999. This is the meaning of predecessor and successor. Next, let us learn. Now, the first rule of comparing numbers is check the number of digits. The greater the number of digits, the greater the number. Let us take an example and understand this. See this number 31,567 and 1,670. Now, how many digits are here? 5 digits and here 4 digits. So, which one will be greater? 5 digits or 4 digits? Of course, 5 digits. So, we will put the greater sign here. Next, rule number 2. This rule applies when both the numbers are having the same number of digits. Yes, if it is the case, then start from the left and compare the digits until you find two digits that are different. Compare them to decide which one is the smaller or greater number. Let's take an example and understand. Suppose we have the number 94,123 and 94,850. Now these two numbers are having the same number of digits. 5 digits here and 5 digits here. So, how we will understand which one is the greater one? Let us see from the left. See here. 9, 9, same. Then 4, same. Next digit, 1 and 8. Now, here it is different. Yes? Now, which one is the greater one? 8 or 1? 8 is greater. Yes? So, 8 is greater. So, which number is this one? 94,850 will be greater than this number. Yes? See here. Because 8 is greater than 1, that is why 94,850 will be greater than 
94,123. These are the two cases. Next, let us learn what are ascending and descending orders. This you have already learned in lower classes, but let us just revise. Now, ascending order means smallest to biggest number. Yes, whereas, see here, ascending order, smallest to bigger. 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 12. From the smallest to the biggest. Next, descending order is biggest to smallest number. Yes, coming down. How you can understand this? By remembering D. What is the first letter of descending? D. D also stands for down. So, see, this boy is coming down. Descending comes with D. Down. Yes? Now, see here, the example of ascending is 2612, 5000, 381, 11,509, 63,985. Now see here, we are going from the smallest to the biggest number. Descending is opposite, biggest to smallest number. 88,439, 83,765, 83,394 and 82,386. So from the biggest to the smallest means descending order. Right? Next question here for recap is write place value and face value of the colored digit. Now see here what is the colored digit here? 4. Yes? So how to write the face value? Face value will be same. What is the face value of 4? Four? 4. Yes? What will be the place value of 4? Yes? See here. Face value will be 4 and place value will be 400. Why 400? Because after 4, how many digits? 2 digits. So, how many zeros we will put? 2 zeros. Likewise, you tell me what will be the place value and face value of 5 here. In this number, the face value will be same, right? 5. What, what, what about the place value? Very good. 50,000. Yes? See here, 50,000 will be the place value, whereas the face value will be 5. What about 2 here? What, will, what is the face value and place value here? Face value will be same. Yes, 2. What about the place value? Very good. 20. What about this 0 next? What will be the face value? 0. What will be the place value? Yes, very good. Again a zero. Yes? Now let us move on to the next question. The next question we have here is write each number in expanded form. Now how to write this number in expanded form? How did I teach you? Take the first digit, 5. Then after 5, how many zeros to add after 5? 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros after 5. Next. 6. After 6, how many zeros? 1, 2, 3. So we got 6,000. Next, plus 2. Yes? After 2, how many zeros to add? 2 zeros to add. See here, 200 begin. After that, after 2, what we have? 8. After 8, how many zero to add? 1, 0. Then the last number will be 1. What about this one? Very good. 5,000 plus, what about this one? Very good. 600. Then, plus 80 plus 3. Very good. Next, what about this one? After 8, how many zeros? Very good. 80,000. Then, for the zero, we can simply write zero. Yes? Next, plus, what will come here after plus? Yes. Very good. 300. Next, we have four. After four, how many zeros? One zero, because one digit is there. Very good. Next is six. Yes? The next two questions, you can try it on your own. Next, write each number in standard form. Now, what is the meaning of standard form? 
standard form is see here the expanded form is given you have to find the numeral yes vice versa just now what did we do the standard form was given and we had written the expanded form now the expanded form is given we have to write the standard form so we'll start from the first number here 40000 means 4 will be there in which place yes 40000 means 4 is in yes 10000s place what about 3 3000 three, three is in thousands place so 4 in 10000s place 3 in the thousands place 800 so 8 will be in the hundreds place then 20 means 2 will be in the tens place and 4 in the ones place so how we'll get the number 43824 right next 20000 so 2 is in which place 10000s place after that 1000 so 1 is in which place the thousands place 2 in 10000 one in thousand next after 10 after thousands place which place will come hundreds place six in the hundreds place what about the tens place and ones place is there any number after this no so we'll just write 00 twenty one thousand 600 00 why 00 because there is no tens and no ones next you tell me 30000 means which which number will be there in the 10000s place 3 which will which after that we have the thousands place is there any number with thousands no so what we'll write in the thousands place 0 next place is the hundreds place what about the hundreds place any number with 100 here like see here we have 600 any number with 100 here no so what we'll write in the hundreds place again a zero see here zero in the th thousands place because no thousands number is here in the hundreds place also zero because no hundreds number is here next seven in the tens place because 70 so seven we'll write in the tens place again no number with ones here so we'll write a zero here clear next next number we have is 90000 so which number we'll have in the 10000s place 9 very good then after that 9000 9000 means 9 is there in which place thousands place see see the number here 9 in the 10000s place then again one more 9 in the thousands place next we have after th thousands place we have the hundreds place which number is there 900 so 9 again in the hundreds place then zero why are we writing a zero here yes because there is no number with tens here after 900 is there any number with tens no so we'll write a zero here then the last will be 9 do not forget to put commas here children commas should be there everywhere after the hundreds place yes after the hundreds place comma after the hundreds place comma and do not forget to put the commas Now the last number is eighty thousand. So what will be there in the ten th thousands place? Eight. What will be there in the thousands place? Seven. Hundreds place? Any number with hundred? No. So what we will write? Zero. Very good. Then what will be there in the tens place? Nine. Then last ones place will be seven. So we get the number eighty-seven thousand. Ninety-seven. Next, we have writing the numerals in words. Yes. Now, take the first number. Now, what is there? We have to start from the left, right? What? Which number is there? One. Which place is one on? One is there in the lakhs place. So one lakh. After that, twenty-six. Twenty-six is in which place? Yes. One lakh. Twenty-six thousand. Now five is in which place? The hundreds place. So five hundred six. So how do we write it? One lakh twenty-six thousand five hundred six. Likewise, you can write the rest to 
in your notebook yes now next question is write the numeral first one is 87600 now you have to write the number for this one it is written in words so how to write 87000 means what is there in the thousands period 87 very good now after thousands period which place will come the hundred so 600 what about after hundred tens and ones is there anything with tens and ones no so eight seven comma six zero zero so this is the number that we are getting next two you can write it in your notebook yes next one next question is write the number that comes before now what is the meaning of coming before yes the predecessor we have to find the predecessor or the number which comes before this number now what about this one 91843 now we have learned that how to find the predecessor to subtract 1 when we subtract 1 from this number we get the predecessor now what we'll get yes 91842 we subtract from this one this one now likewise you can subtract one from these numbers and get the numbers here that is the predecessors you can get next number next question is write the number that comes after now how to find what is the meaning of the number coming after yes the successor we have to find now how to find the successor yes by adding one adding one to this number we get the number after it so 20,880 plus 1 will be yes 20,881 likewise you can add one to these numbers and find the next number next question we have is compare the numbers using greater than or less than now what were, what were the rules that we had learned first rule of comparing is yes first counting the number of digits if the number of digits are different the number with the greater number of digits will be greater the second rule was if the number of digits are same so we have to check each and every digit from the left yes so see here I, I I believe you can do it on your own yes comparing the numbers now the next thing that we are going to do is arranging in ascending order and descending order this as well you can do it in on your own ascending order means ascending order is smallest to biggest whereas descending order is biggest to smallest number so write all these questions in your notebook and write the answers as well. Thank you.